Hey everyone, welcome to a new Wizard 101 video. Today is the start of Wizard 101's ninth birthday celebrations. So to start things off, they've turned on all the events that they've had in the past. Uh, the professor's over there with the five boxes. They also have the lost pages, so those are on if you are uh, wanting to do those. They also have the member benefits. Those are also on, so you can do the double guarding, which people have been waiting for. That seems to be people's favorite member benefit. And then the other favorite is the double pet XP for snacks. So those are both on, and they only last until September 5th, though. So all of this is going on, and I'm sure like the the commas is you know decked out for the celebration. They have like the phoenix flying around, but I think that'll last the whole month. But it seems like the actual events only last until September 5th. So limited time on those ones. If you want to get the double uh, member benefits uh, for different things, then definitely do that now because that will end soon. But the other things, usually with uh, the birthday month that they have, uh, they add some new things in. And there's two new things that I've seen from this one. One of them is in the crown shop, so we'll be checking out that. The other one is from the code that you can redeem through their website, which I will link uh, the website in the description so you can click that and redeem the code to get a bunch of you know nice birthday themed items, uh, plus a new one, I think it's new. We'll have to look at it. But birthday balloons, these are uh, a new mount that you can get in the crown shop right now. It has every school right there. So it's all the schools, and then it's also just like a spiral moon. And actually, it's not really it's not really for the spiral. It's for like the moon and the sun schools. I think that's what it is. Is there a shadow? Was that shadow? That's a death? There's no shadow balloon. Well, there's this one too. I don't know. I'm sure there's every like school there. Probably not shadow school. I guess moon and, and sun is kind of represented by these balloons. Where's balance? Right there. Oh, wait, is that the... I'm, I think we're looking at the idol. Okay, so there's the idol. We're going to buy it and we're going to actually see the idol because I can't really see it. Uh, in this little window so 37.50 for this mount not that bad really like this they could have easily made this 5,000 they could have made it 7,500 I hate when uh, the mounts are like the new mounts are 7,500 like the Astro Unicorn is a fairly new mount that one was expensive but it seems like these event mounts are cheaper which is good so 37.50 was the gobbler which was from last year really cool mount so that one's back but the birthday balloons are the new map for this year. We're going to buy that. We're going to buy that one. And apparently there's some cool underwater animations for it as well. So we'll be looking at that. Let's lock it. And take a look. 40% speed on the birthday balloons amount. Wow, that, that, I don't know. That's really unique. Like, what a unique mount. <laughs> some kind of, some kind of uh, wind at your back is propelling you with your balloons or maybe the balloons are magic and they just pull you along you know you're just pulled by the balloons through the commons what is the back okay <laughs> so yeah there's the there's the birthday balloon mount oh i love that okay cool compare it compared to these balloons these ones are a little more detailed but look at the jump you could like slowly go down to the ground I think that's cool. I really like that. The jump. The jump feels like you're floating more than just like when you're floating here. Because it does go up and down. But the jump really sells it. Like the jump really makes it feel like you're being held up by balloons. <gasps> Wait, what am I picking up? <laughs> and then the balloons start floating. I want to see that again. What do I pick up? Am I just like looking at something on the ground? Or did I pick up like a coin or something? What is that? That's cool. You gotta like that. You gotta you gotta enjoy that that little animation because I don't know. That just shows you like your wizards can actually jump high. Your wizards can jump higher than just this. This this proves it. Our wizards can jump more than this. This is not how high our wizards can jump. Like our pets, our pets have better animations for jumping at this point than than we do. We can jump as high as this idle animation shows us where we actually jump pretty high to be able to oh here we go let's just watch it i don't even have to say anything look at this look at this jump look at that jump see like what as soon as we get this mount we're able to jump as high as an olympic high jumper probably not as high as them but you know at least better than what we were able to jump 
in the past. So I really like this mount. I think it's I don't know, it's it's super unique mount. There's nothing like this in the game, and they did a good job in the idle animation. It's kind of a fun mount, just like the gobbler was a really fun mount that they made for last year. I like that he does the idle animation a lot. Like we already saw it a, a, a few times, which is good because they probably spend a lot of time making those idle animations. I'm looking at the balloons right now. Firestorm. Ice is over here. Death, life, myth, and balance. So There's basically two extra balloons that are not school-related exactly. But yeah. Okay, no more idle animation, I guess. We should head over to the uh, what, Crab Alley because I want to check out the underwater animations for this. Because apparently there is a separate underwater animation. I'm just looking at how the balloons kind of like shake a little bit while you're <laughs> while you're moving. It's kind of weird. Look at that. Huh. All right, we are going to head over to Crab Alley and see how good this underwater animation is because people did say that we should check that out. So I'll meet you guys over at Crab Alley. Oh yeah, we should also turn up sound so we can hear like the the whoosh sound that it makes when you when you jump. So let's turn up sound effects all the way. Maybe turn the music down. Well, music's already pretty low. Here we go. I think you can hear the balloons. Let's turn on everything except this. I don't know. You can kind of like. I don't know if you guys can like hear that, but it's kind of like the balloons. Yeah, you can kind of like hear like a balloon sound. Is that looking into it too much? I don't think so. I mean, they 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 literally added in like some kind of balloon sound as well to it. So. Let's see what this underwater animation is all about. I guess we'll just put that back to that. Okay, here we go. And one more time. Well, we're gonna do it more than one more time. Wait, does it also make a sound? Maybe we should turn this back up then. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how the balloons just like fly up. It's like slow motion jump. I'm like mesmerized by this. <laughs> you slowly float down. It looks weird when you're when you're moving and you do it. Like look. I don't know, that that that's kinda cool. I mean, in a way, like Huh. There you go. That's the jump animation underwater. I wanna see what the idol looks like, but I don't know if he's gonna do the idol right away. It'd be nice if he did. Then we could see that, but Underwater balloons. With the front flip underwater? Okay, that's that's a nice one. I like that one. Like, you can tell they put some time into that underwater animation. And how many people are even going to use this mount underwater? I don't know. But it's still there. And I'm glad we got it to finally... Uh, do the idle animation sometimes the idle animations I have to sit here and wait a little bit for those to actually work and then we had two in a row so I don't know sometimes they work sometimes they they don't like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it again but yeah the balloons start to float up to the surface does an underwater front flip and catches the balloons I don't think he's gonna do it again but we're not gonna get that lucky so that's the underwater animations for this one I'm glad when they put time into the underwater effects for different mounts and uh, sometimes, I mean, even the pets have like swimming animations too, so it's nice. But I think that is everything that we want to look at for the uh, the new balloon mount, which is, what is it called? Just birthday balloons, yeah. Birthday balloons mount. I'm trying to think which, which one I like better. Do I like when he picks up the coin and then jumps up? I mean, it does show off our wizard's true jumping abilities, so I do like that one. That's the birthday balloons. Overall, nice mount. I'm glad they added a new mount in for uh, the birthday celebration. So we have Gobbler, and now we have these. But there's one other thing that I want to look at before we wrap up this video, and that is in my gift box. So these are all the things that you get if you redeem the code. You get the confetti cannon birthday hat, which you know we've got before. Ambrosia. I think Rock Hammer Jewel Pack was from this. Yeah, it probably was. Birthday Snack Pack. I mean, let's just redeem this. I don't know what this is. It just gives you random, like, snacks that I'm never going to use. So, there you go. I mean, 
Redeem it if you want. And then Hambrosia. I mean, yeah, sure, it's a good snack. And then Rock Hammer Jewel Pack. I mean, when else am I gonna, when I'm, <laughs> when else am I gonna open this thing? Here we go. Yep. Not the best pack ever, but we got it. Professor's Horde Pack. Do I even need? I don't need anything on my life character. You know what's funny about the Professor's Horde Pack is I never. I opened a lot, and I never got a mount from that pack. Like I sometimes forget that this pack even has mounts because I've never gotten one. I'm more concerned with the gear in this pack because the gear is pretty good. But yeah, there actually are mounts. I've never got one. Oh, uh, the birthday gazebo, and then energy elixir and a sparkler. So I think the sparkler is new from that. So we're gonna redeem that sparkler. I don't remember seeing this before. So let's take a look at what this uh, actually looks like. We'll lock it, cause why would I want to get rid of my sparkler? <laughs> what do you expect? It's, it's it's like a stick that sparkles. It's a wand, sparkling wand. I don't know why they put it like in the middle. Why couldn't they make the sparkle like on the end? <gasps> Does it change? Wait, it is on the end. Okay, it was glitched. I was like, wait, what? Wait, it kind of moves. What's going on? Sparkler, what are you doing? Does it like burn down? Wait, really? Okay, I didn't understand it at first. Do you guys see that? So it changes color as it moves down. Like the wand, like the actual sparkler. Now it's blue. And then it burns out and then magically it just restarts. I don't know if it's always the same colors. Huh. Okay, so that's better than I thought. I thought it was just like, I'm like, wait, why is the spark actual sparkle like in the middle of the wand? Huh, that's unique. Okay, so yeah, another unique wand that they added in. I think it, I think it does the same colors. Something like that. So that's a new wand. That's uh, what you get if you redeem the code, and it's just a no stat, no stat wand that you can use, stitch to whatever you want, or don't stitch it. Just have it be a sparkler. Hmm, really interesting, and it just continues forever. So that's a new wand. Uh, that's that's interesting. That's a neat little addition for like the birthday gear that they give us. Um, I want to end the video over in my Sultan Palace because. That is where we, basically where I have all the birthday stuff. So we're going to go check that out quick. And then we're going to wrap it up. So that'll be it for this video. Birthday balloons plus new sparkler are the new items from this. But then, of course, they brought back the other items too. So if you want those, you go know, check them out. Let's go see what past birthday things uh, have brought us. Past birthday items because I store it all in here. I don't know if I'll put the sparkler in here. We could. But I kind of want to have it on me. So here is the past birthday cakes for the 8th anniversary. Can I not get stuck in the chair? Okay, well, that's that's a bad decision. We're going to go over here. This is probably a better decision. There we go. Come on, gobbler. Other gobbler. Yeah, there you go. So this is the past. We also had this confetti cannon. I mean, let's let's just grab our confetti cannons. Well, I didn't even redeem it. Uh, no. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. Confetti cannon. Except birthday hat i'm gonna look so bad in this birthday hat guys oh my gosh it's for the video even though it's the end of the video birthday gazebo i don't think i can fit that in here but i have that in a different house because they give out the same you know confetti cans every year can you move party corgi uh nope can i fit this anywhere okay that's a little little much there we go and then we also got was there one or the other thing i don't remember the birthday hat, yeah, I can't really put that down. But I can uh, wear it and look really weird. Wow. Guys, I'm just saying, we. <laughs> I look like I'm not even happy for <laughs> I look like I'm forced to wear this. <laughs> oh, man. I want to see what it looks like with this and the actual uh, birthday balloons. Look at the hat, it like, bounces when you move. Guys, I'm just saying, we need that barbershop. It's, it's necessary at this point. Oh yeah, look at me. I look I look so happy for for the birthday celebration. I was forced to do this. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had fun with it. New mount, new wand. Go and redeem the code to get all of that. Except, I mean, you can't get this. You have to... It's only 3,700. It's not as bad compared to other mounts in this game. So, I will say that. But, same price as the Gobbler from last year. So, that is it. Leave a like if you guys have enjoyed this. I'll put a link in the description to everything that I talked about. 
for this you can get it yourself and that's gonna do it so subscribe for more i'll see you all next time